Baz Cox here, post-match reaction to yesterday's game at the Emirates Arsenal for West Ham 1. Firstly, I think the scoreline flatters them. I, I don't think it was a 4-1 game. Yes, I think they deserve to win. I think they've done more than us to win. But 4-1, I, I think it was closer than that. We, we had a mad 10-minute spell, whatever it was, where just got caught. Had a mistake made by Declan Rice, which got punished by. They went 2-1 up. And, and I see David Moyes' report after where he's targeted Declan for his error. Yeah, it's, it was a mistake, no doubt about it. And you, you just get rid of the ball in that situation. But to single him out, I find harsh. He, he's been probably our best player in the last three, four games. And I don't think he'd done a lot wrong yesterday until that one mistake, which obviously led to a goal, so it's vital. But prior to that, there, there was a point where Arsenal had a corner down at our fans and I was stood behind and someone said, we could hear you shout on telly, Baz, beat the first man. He didn't beat the first man. Arsenal broke away. Zabaleta gave away a free kick. From that free kick, they went and scored and went one new up. So, you know, there's blame there for Mario not beating the first man. And he didn't do that on any of the corners. Um, Masuaku as well, he, he, he should have done better when defending on the post for one of the goals. But, you know, we win together, we lose together, we draw together. You, you can't single out one lad. The thing Moy should have done for me was, yes, admitted he made a mistake, but said, I'll put my arm around him tomorrow or after in, in, on the coach and I'll have a chat with him and make sure he keeps his head up and stays positive. You know, that lad, he, he, he must be distraught through what happened and what he's seen and heard since. But back to the game. First half, I, I don't think we was miles behind him. If anything, the only problem I thought was... We had no outlet except for an out of it, and we just expect miracles from that man being up there on his own. He needs someone with him. You know, David Moyes isn't a manager that's ever going to play Hernandez, that's clear, or well, definitely start him anyway. You might see him for 15, 20 minutes come off the bench. But he, um, as I say, at half time, he was confident around me and the fans, and, and, and talking to them, they're saying, if we make a change, we've got a chance. So we've done this against Stoke, and it was a game where, again, introduce someone to be up there with an out of it who will feed with them, and, and we don't expect miracles from an out of it. And second half, sides come out. Arsenal realised they needed something different. What did they do? They made a change. They went and scored. Stoke done that at our place. Went and scored. All of a sudden, we're chasing the game and panicking. So then he introduces Lanzini and Hernandez. You know, Fernandez. He ain't done nothing for me for the last two, three games, including yesterday. Done well against Southampton, credit to him. But since he hasn't, and, and that was perfect yesterday. Even if he was to start Lanzini in that role with Mario and Anatovic. But Fernandez, he just didn't do enough again for me, in my opinion. Check again, I felt he was missing. First half, all right. Second half, he, he, he just he, his heart don't look in the club. And if he's like that, it's time to go. So yeah, we made the change, we got back in the game. Great goal again by an out of it, and that come from Lanzini being on the edge of the box, someone with a brain who would play football and knock it into his path, where he has a left foot strike and scores. Um, Hernandez was on the pitch two minutes, had a chance. You know, that's it. I don't know what David Moyes has to see that we don't, because every fan sees it and every fan comments make a change. He didn't make a substitution until the fan sung make a substitution, and then all of a sudden we get players coming on, and... Then the mistake comes from Declan Rice, we go 2-1 down, and then it, it, the floodgates opened. And in the 87th minute, we introduce Andy Carroll, 3-1 down. It baffles me. It, the man's tactical... It ain't even knowledge, because it ain't knowledge, it's daftness. It, it just baffles me, because to be a Premier League manager, surely you've got to be better than that. And, and you've got to have different ideas than just Route 1, which he has. You know, Billich was hounded. Absolutely hounded for it for being too attacking and, and not being able to vent, defend. And this guy, he only knows how to defend. And five out of the last ten games, we've conceded three or more goals. And and that ain't against like the top sides only. That's Swansea, that's Burnley in, in amongst that. And we play Man City Sunday. How many will they score if they're on song? That's the fear. So Sunday's game will just be typical for David Morris to set up like a 4-3-3 and have Hernandez and Altovic and Lanzini up front and then we'll get our arses ripped open by Man City which they do to most clubs and all of a sudden David Morris will be in his post-match report saying 
I told you we don't play the attacking way and this is the reason why it would be a perfect excuse. But we go on. I, I think we're safe because I don't see the other sides getting two wins. And it helps where Saints are playing Swansea. But we're, it, it's still squeaky bum time. You know, the goal difference has been shot to bits. And I think it will do again the weekend with Man City. But wouldn't it just be typical West Ham to go and get a point or something in that game? But onwards and upwards, we, we go to Leicester soon, where they seem to be on the beach. It's a winnable game. A point would be enough up there. It would be a good point. Manchester United at home, again, there's a chance for a point. And Everton at home, who ain't in great form and all over the place under Big Sam. So I think we'll be all right. I don't think there's too much panic, but we're definitely not clear and out of trouble. There's still... Just be honest that we've got to be careful of. But as I say, onwards and upwards, see you all Sunday. Come on, you irons.